Hello, Host Week. April here from Host Agency Reviews, and I am sitting down with Ted Blank from Travel Leaders Market Square. How are you, Ted? I'm good. Thanks for having me. No, it's so exciting to have you here and be able to talk about everything that's going on with you and your company. Sure. Happy to be here. Great. So let's jump right into it. Okay. Um, You know, 2022 just kicked off, so we'd like to know what's kind of gone on in the past year for you. Yeah, well, you know, it hasn't been the best year for travel. I think we can all acknowledge that. But, you know, the good news is it's given us a little bit of time to take a look at everything we do um, in our host agency and really focus in on the things that add the most value to our independent travel advisors. And so one of the things we're super excited about is that we've completely revamped our program for new to the industry advisors. Um, We work with the Travel Leaders of Tomorrow program and offer a great training program for people to learn kind of those technical skills you need to have in order to sell travel. But then we've added a new mentorship program. And so the mentorship program is a six month program. It's with myself and one of our other um, leaders here in the company. And between us, we have about probably 40 some years of experience in the travel industry, um, selling very, very different products, focusing on different customers. And we've really put together kind of a personalized approach so that we can, you know, customize it and do what's best for each individual advisor rather than Mm -hmm. kind of a one size fits all program. So we launched that in uh, right at the end of 2020 and the folks who have gone through it have been really, really successful. So that's something we've been pretty excited about and we're excited to talk about here at host her host week review host 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 week. With host agency, With host agency it's reviews. kind of it's it's a lot. I try yeah, saying yeah. it five times fast. Yeah, it's early in the morning too. We haven't had our coffee. <laughs> no, well, that's amazing. I love. Um, I think it's just so important to have a mentorship program and being able to have a one-on-one with people. I've said it before. Just, I mean, having those programs in place for advisors to have somebody else to talk to is so important. So it's amazing that you offer that. Yeah, it is. And, you know, especially when you're new to the industry, but even if yeah. you're even if you've been around for a long time, um, things change and, and it's mm-hmm. good to keep up. But I think it's also just good to have that, you know, have that friend in the industry that, you know, yeah. you can pick up the phone and call if you have any kind of a question. Um, you know, that's that's what we're here for. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. Um, so I'd love to hear what makes Travel Leaders Market Square unique. Sure. So we're different than a lot of host agencies in that we're a um, we're a hybrid company. We have both a retail travel agency. So we have employees who sell both leisure and corporate travel. And then we have a host agency. And so Mm -hmm. there's a lot of cross fertilization that happens in an environment like that, that some of the pure host agencies aren't able to offer. And probably the biggest advantage to our advisors is that they have the opportunity to work very closely with our preferred supplier partners. And, you know, it's amazing to me when I go to industry events and talk to folks, you know, our advisors know the local sales reps on a first name basis, their, their phone calls get answered right away. Um, and, you know, that's something that's, that's really important. And especially in the last two years, you know, even the best of suppliers have had hiccups along the way and having that personal relationship with the supplier really is, is, is a critical piece of success. And, and, you know, that's kind of what we do. We really are a boutique agency. We don't have thousands of agents. Um, And so we really offer very personalized, individualized attention. And and it helps those those individuals um, in our independent contractor pool do really well. That's great. And you're right. I mean, the the relationship with the suppliers is so important. So to be able to have that kind of one on one and um, relationship is is great so i mean great point there yeah and it's amazing the opportunities that mm-hmm. arise just from having those relationships and that's something you know if you're new to the industry maybe you don't understand because mm-hmm. you haven't been part of it but you know it's it's a it's a small industry and we all know each other and that mm-hmm. that is really important for your success mm-hmm. absolutely um, so it's host week, so we're talking travel advisors, and I'd love to know three words that would describe your ideal travel advisor. So that's a that's a really good question because you know you could take it in so many 
different directions. Um, but, but, but the three I came up with, the, the first one is curious. I, I really think the ideal, ideal travel advisor and the successful travel advisor has to have a permanent, permanent curiosity. They have to be lifelong learners. And all the stuff that, you know, I learned five years ago and 10 years ago in travel, I've had to learn it again. I've had to learn about new destinations. And if I wasn't curious about it, if I wasn't committed to, you know, committed to that lifelong learning, I would have been left in the dust a long time ago. So that curiosity and, and, and seeking out proactively the, um, the knowledge and, and the information you need to be successful is probably number one. Um, number two is, is really to be passionate about the industry and to be passionate about your clients. And I think especially in the last two years with COVID, um, it, it's been a tough time for the industry. It's been a tough time for people financially. And if you don't have that passion, you're not gonna have the resilience to get through the tough times. And so mm -hmm. having that passion, it's great in the best of times, but it's really important when things aren't going well. And finally, you know, I, I think it's important that travel advisors be professionals. You know, this is a profession and whether you're working in the industry on a part time basis and you're brand new, whether you're working on a full time basis and you've been doing this for a long time, we offer really important professional services to our clients. And it's really important that, that our advisors treat this as a business and treat this as a profession. And so I think the advisors who are curious, who are passionate and who are professional are the ones who are going to do best in the industry. That's great. Great. Three great um, descriptive words there. Um, so, hey, happy 2022. So <laughs> I'd love to hear kind of what's going on with Travel Leaders Market Square for 2022. Yeah. So one of the things we also launched um, in 2021 is a new leads program. <clears throat> and that's a program where we provide leads to our independent advisors. And um, it's something we had kind of kicked around for, for years before the pandemic and really the time was right to try it. And we have just been so thrilled at how well that has gone. And, you know, our advisors, our, our advisors specialize in different things. You know, we have some who specialize in Disney vacations. We have some who specialize in cruises, some who might specialize in, you know, destination weddings and honeymoons. And we've been able to provide them with a new stream of quality leads that can help them grow their business. Again, whether they're new to the industry or, um, you know, experience and established. And it's so fun to see these leads come in. And then, you know, a couple of weeks later, you see the booking was made and you correct. And you see sometimes that, you know, the, the, the lead was, let's say the lead was for Jamaica and they end up going to St. Lucia or something like that. So we're seeing our advisors bring their expertise to bear and they're closing these leads. So it's been a really good program for us. Um, it's been a really good program for our advisors. So we're really thrilled about that um, here in 2022. Probably the other thing that we've done is we've been working with our independent advisors on helping them set goals for their business. And then that's something that's really tough when you work independently. You know, if you work for you work for a big company, you've got somebody who does a review for you every year, you know, and you have goals and things like that. But when you're working independently, you don't have that. So we've been doing some um, informational sessions, some training sessions about that. We have our mentorship program, which is a great way to do that. But we've really been working with our advisors to help them focus on a couple concrete goals for 2022 mm -hmm. so that they leverage this year and in 2023 or 2024, are going to be even more successful. That's great. I love that you're kind of looking towards the future and really kind of building your um, travel advisors up with that. So wonderful. So it's host week. We have plenty of uh, advisors out there that are watching this, some new, some experienced, but let's focus on the new agent. What uh, tip would you give to a new advisor? So I was a new independent advisor once. Um, that was a I guess in 2016, I actually entered the travel industry. So I was a new advisor and I, and I started with Travel Leaders Market Square and I actually got two pieces of really, really good advice. Um, one of which I followed right from the beginning and the other one, it took me about a year to finally hit my stride on. But the first one is to really specialize. 
and that's different than it maybe was 15 or 20 years for people coming into the industry, but it's really important to specialize. And that specialization can be a destination. It can be a specific supplier or two, or it can be a specific type of client. But it's really important to come in with a specialization because that's what the market is looking for today. Mm -hmm. The other piece, so, so I took that advice right from the beginning. The one that I didn't take right from the beginning, but should have was to charge appropriate professional fees right from the get-go. And um, professional fees are a very important part of our industry today, whether we call them a plan to go fee or whether we call them a service fee. But it's hard, you know, sometimes it's hard to teach that old dog new tricks. In April, you said you had a couple yeah. dogs and, you know, I'm sure sometimes <laughs> you're like, come on, they, they could get that. And it's hard for us to, to learn something new midstream. And so I really encourage advisors to, to spend some time before they book their first trip and be really clear on those service fees because mm -hmm. um, it's going to be part of your income stream for, for you know, forever and, and doing well charging them is important. So yeah. uh, specialize and start to charge fees right from the beginning. No, absolutely. I mean, having that niche and knowing what you'll be doing and really being able to uh, advise your clients on specific things is so important. And you're right, the fees. And it's, I think you kind of hit it on the head when you said start right off the bat, because yeah, then yeah. you're not going to tell clients that you've had that, oh, I charge fees now. So to start yeah. right at the get-go, I think that's great advice. Yeah, and you, you, you learn how to do it, right? Your, your mind works that way, and it's just a natural part of how you do things rather than trying to teach yourself a new trick two years in. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, gosh, we're charged fees everywhere else. Yeah, um, yeah I, know, I know I went to the bank, and I'm like, wow, that was a high, high ATM fee. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, so let's have a fun question. Let's put the business aside, and let's get into Har's fun question. Um. If Travel Leaders Market Square had a company party, what would the theme be and why? So our company party would be a Hawaiian luau. Um, and, and the reason for that, and I think it'd be really fun, um, especially, you know, if we did it like in Minnesota in the middle of the winter, <laughs> have a Hawaiian luau theme. And I don't know how you'd ever roast a pig in the frozen ground, but, you know, we'd figure it's it out. It's funny because that was the first thing that popped in my head was the <laughs> frozen pig and then like fire, like people just spinning fire. Like yeah, that yeah, popped yeah. in my head as soon as you said it. And then you threw in Minnesota and I'm like, <laughs> this makes it so much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever, have you ever had poi? No, I have not. Oh, it's, it's not good. It's not good. I don't understand. Okay. We would not serve poi in our Hawaiian luau, but we'd have plenty of fruity drinks and, uh, you know, pineapple. Oh, yeah. But, but the reason for that is because we have a, um, you know, one of our values as a company, and I mentioned that we're a hybrid agency, right? So we have host, mm -hmm. hosted agents and employed agents. Um, but there's a word in Hawaiian called ohana. And ohana means a spirit of family. And that's something that's really core to our agency and to everyone who either works here or is affiliated with us, that we're part of a big family. And so having a Hawaiian luau where we'd have that spirit of Ohana coming to life um, would, be our, would be our company party. We'd have a great time doing it. Um, and you know, the, the nice thing about being part of a family is we've got each other's backs. So if, uh, you know, if the dancing gets out of hand, we'll, we'll have somebody there to make sure that nothing bad happens. But Hawaiian luau with a big spirit of Ohana. I love that. I love that word. I love the meaning. Um, that was a great answer. Um, so with Host Week, we uh, offer Host Week specials. So I'd love to hear more about your special. Yeah. So we're offering a special. It's $75 off our um, startup fees for our program. And that can be applied for both an individual or a, a new to the industry advisor or a um, existing advisor. And if you're new to the industry and you want to do our um, training and mentorship program, we'll apply that discount to that as well. So we're actually offering that until the end of February of 2022. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for doing that. And we'll put that link um, in the comments so everybody can get right to it and check it out. Well, Perfect. Ted, thank you so much for being here. We truly appreciate your time and learning more about Travel, uh, Travel Leaders Market Square. And this is wonderful. Thank you. And onward with Host Week. Exactly. Looking forward to seeing some more uh, great content on Host Week. Thanks. Perfect. Bye, everyone. Bye.